All right, overpriced items at the airport once again. I'm at gate nine. Oh wow, further security checks even at the gate. So I have time, my time is 9.30 for gate check-in. So I'm not gonna go straight to the gate. I'm just gonna go all the way down there to see what other items I could purchase. Airport items, everyone's so happy, so inviting. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, let's see what I can buy out here. So they're definitely taking this pandemic seriously. They have people checking people at all areas. And I think I see some places I can get some recuerdos. I still have not been able to find not one magnet. I don't know what's going on here. See, not a lot of things that are purely Salvadoran. Just different type of stuff that, you know, you don't really need. Like icons. Hola. Buenos dias. Um, vende iman aquí, iman. Oh, wow, that's the first. Let's see if it's overpriced or not. Okay, ¿qué tipo iman? Hay en casitas, que tenemos pintaditos, en mapas, en cucharas metálicas. I need something that says Dile El Salvador. Something with the map of the of the país. Um, but see, it's, it's too pequeño, the nombre. Something muy grande. Mm. You know, so when you see it from afar, you'll see, oh, that's El Salvador, like that, you know? Oh, no, but it's just that. Este, one of That, six dollars. The same thing that I was in the market, and it was a bigger one, and she was trying to charge six bucks. Forget that. Okay, gracias. What about camisetas? Do you have a camisetas um, that says, El Salvador. ¿Cuánto es? Esto le cuesta $15. $15? $15. Oh, look at this coffee. Oh, here goes some actual... Son unisex camisas. Oh, it says unisex? Sí. Si va a propuesto es country. Alright, uh, lo siento that you have to open it, no. So they had some things that I would like, but way overpriced. I really, really, really wanted it, but at the end of the day, you gotta watch it, you know? You don't want to just be buying stuff just to buy stuff. If it's expensive, move on. You have to have my passport just for a $3.75 magnet? Man, I decided to take the hit and just get one magnet because I try to get a magnet every country I go to, so I'm in El Salvador and if I, I don't know when I'll come back, so I might as well uh, get this magnet now. Gracias. Gracias. <laughs> That's a sign for, for cash? <laughs> Man. That papaya looks good. I don't know if it's a papaya. Adios. Yeah. Well, I took a trip all throughout the airport and I'm just going to show the final scene of my El Salvador trip with a small museum that they have here inside the airport of ceramics. So they call it the Tesenixas? Tecnisas? Vitrias y Ceramica. So just take a look at the artwork. And this is my final time in El Salvador. Composition, ceramica. Stained glass. This is called Fruto del Trabajo. 2017. And this is called Nacimiento con Fachada de Catedral from 2011. And this is called Indio Angel y Payaro. Uh, 
amor del padre me uní la tierra en composición en cerámica cerámica en acrílico And the last one I'll show is the Florence La Mañana. Florence La Mañana. All right, guys, that does it for me here in El Salvador. I thank you for joining me. Thank you for being patient and seeing all the scenes. Don't get offended for those who wish that I only showed luxury because El Salvador has it all. It has the luxury, but it also has the regular day of the average citizens, which you've seen throughout my entire videos. So thank you for your patience, and that's it. Have a blessed day. Vaya pues. Bonus. Now. So they asked me, what else, JC Max? Now that you left El Salvador, here I am in the heart of Los Angeles, California on Union Avenue. <laughs> hit and run. This guy hit this car and he's gonna run. Oh, there's actually, there's, there was actually someone in the car. And he didn't even do anything. This guy hit the... Hey, you, you cool with that dude? You cool with him? Dang, this guy don't hit this dude. Oh, he's gonna run after the dude. He's gonna run after the dude hit his car so easy. He's running after the dude. Oh man, this dude hit and run, man. He's running after him. Let's see what he does. Nah, this Honda van hit this charger and then he ran away. He hit that charger right there. And he doesn't seem to be upset. I guess he took his picture. Yeah, but he, he ran to the picture of his car. Oh, he's taking a picture of his uh, thing. Well, that's a nice civil way of doing it. You know, not get upset. You know, just get the license plate. You know, do what you gotta do. Los Angeles, baby. So, so I guess, I guess this guy came back to the scene of the crime. And he's trying to make an excuse like, I didn't hit you, that was already there. Like, dude, you hit him, bro. So he, he's, he, he didn't run, he did run, but then he came back. And now he's trying to make an excuse. Bro, I was watching it the whole time. Nah, he hit it though. <laughs> so, but yeah. I interjected myself into the scene of the crime, but hey, but at least he came back. At least he didn't run away, but at least I, I say the guy in the Los Angeles hat, he's keeping it civil, and that's the best thing about it. This is 2021, and that's how it should be. You know, we shouldn't be fighting. You know, back in the day, you know, we'll step on our Jordans, and you'd be like, yo, son, why you stepped on my Jordans? And it'll be a fight. But now, you know, just get that insurance, take a picture of that bad boy, and call it a day and move it on, you know? So he's saying his apologies because he said, I didn't mean to talk crap about your car. But hey, you see what happens when you have camera everywhere? Camera is your best friend. Vlog, vlog, vlog all day. Pretty funny. All right, bonus feature out. Make me your vessel. Make me an offering. Make me whatever you want me to be. I came here with nothing, but all you have given me, Jesus, bring new wine out of me. Whoa, Jesus, bring new wine out of me.